And we are recording. And we are recording. I'm cat sitting for my friend. Come here, kitty. Yeah, Ooh. look at Simo this grabbing is, the pussy. This is Eli. <laughs> grabbing the pussy like a motherfucking champ. This is <laughs> Eli. Ask. Look oh, at Eli's little uh, white uh, nose. That's a, that's a Bengal cat, right? Do you know oh, I don't cat? know. I'm pretty sure it is. It's a uh, vicious cat. Really? Uh, usually yeah. they're pretty sweet cats. Yeah, that is a Bengal cat. God, I'm fucking good. I'm a genius. I Googled it. And uh, I rule. Uh, that's the only cat type I know. <laughs> so, on- <laughs> so it's just gonna happen to be right. Is, uh, oh, orange cat, white cat, black cat. Oh, yeah, that is a Bengal cat. Yes. <laughs> this is the this is the only type of pussy that I'm not allergic to. That's right. That is the only type of pussy that he doesn't cry after holding. Yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> the only type of pussy he doesn't have to give excuses to after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do this in three, uh, two, uh, one. What are you doing? Testies in my mouth. Get on the ground, you fucking pledge. Ew. Welcome. To the greatest podcast experience of your life. This is the Frat Chat Podcast. All young men like three things. Dude. Dudes. Pussy. Featuring Carlos Garcia and Chris Moore. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the greatest podcast in the history of podcasts in time. It's the Frat Chat Podcast. I'm Carlos Garcia with Chris Simo Moore. How's it going, Mr. Moe? Yo, it's going as well as it can. I mean, our our lady didn't win. No, no. To you be know? Fair, we, uh, you know, a, a record number of bros apparently voted this election. And we did tell a lot of them to get out and vote. We just didn't tell them like who to vote for you know yeah I'm trying to sit in the middle <laughs> here in this podcast but you know uh at least they voted you know but it's crazy how, how how are you doing what's what's no uh doing pretty good <laughs> living the dream got a got a couple of fun shows coming up so check out my website carlos garcia comedy dot com uh go down to the show dates area and you'll see them all there uh, and getting ready, man. The, the, I feel like the year is almost over at this point because Thanksgiving's coming up, and then after that, you blink and it's Christmas. So, like the Mariah Carey is already like creeping behind my ear. I can hear her. All I want for Christmas. I'm like, no, <laughs> try to run away. You know, I feel like I feel like Thanksgiving's late this year. It's at the end of the month. I think it's always the fourth Thursday. But yeah. it's, it just runs kind of late this year. And I feel like we don't have that much time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah, we don't. Absolutely. That's why. And I'm going home for Thanksgiving for a few days. And I'm going home, obviously, for Christmas for a few days. So I just feel like I'm going to be at my parents' family, at my parents' house forever. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> Dude, this is so random. I haven't, I, I don't know if this is a big deal or not, but. I actually, I called my, I have an appointment on Wednesday to go to my doctor and I called and they're like, what's the reason for the visit? And I was like, honestly, I get hiccups really bad a lot. And huh. she was like, are you serious? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was like, so, so you, you have chronic hiccups? I was like, yes. And I do, I get hiccups all the time with or without drinking. I just get hiccups and I'm like bowled over in pain. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, it makes shit. my chest hurt really bad. And I felt, I felt so stupid saying it. And then the woman on the phone, I kind of felt like she made me feel a little bit more stupid. She's like, seriously? So how would you like me to describe this? I've been working this job for 23 years. And you mean to tell me that you're calling me right now to tell me that you have the hiccups, sir. <laughs> the fucking hiccups. Yes. Oh, please hold on. I'll try to turn you down three. <laughs> so, I, what the fuck? <laughs> all I can do is like, uh, the only way to get rid of them for me is to hold my breath to the point of like passing out. Oh. That's the only thing that works for me. I, I, I Google this all the time. I'm always trying other 
like you name it like you know so, so is that why you were into uh auto erotic asphyxiation for a while uh, yeah it's just for the hiccups just the hiccups <laughs> the, you know they say pain is pleasure <laughs> what do you do when you get the hiccups <laughs> <You know? laughs> just go hang out by your closet grab a belt and you know <laughs> a yeah. little lube when you wake up the hiccups are gone <laughs> yeah and you busted a nut it's great it's really fantastic uh you can't beat it you really can't beat it try it you guys <laughs> though we might have had kill bill four if it wasn't because of it i'm just saying i'm just saying it killed bill it literally yeah. killed bill um <laughs> i am actually I, I don't know this this weirdly segues into one of the proudest moments i've had in my doggy parent life uh uh, eh, she's sleeping down there. I'm not going to pick her up. If you guys know, you know, she's popped up on the screen before. If you follow us on YouTube uh, at Frat Chat Podcast, uh, you know, she's a pretty, pretty cute dog. Very little weenie. You know, she's like this long. Uh, I've seen bigger. I've that's seen much right. Bigger weenies in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so impressed. Not <laughs> <laughs> but I took her out right before we did this podcast, sir. And she took the biggest dump I have ever seen a dog that size take like i used to have a lab and that dump that stella took was comparable to that lab that i used to own and i used to have to shovel that dog shit for god's sake so i was just like so proud i was like she's just like her papa Uh, let's take a picture of it i think i, the, I think the listeners want to see <laughs> i almost did it was uh i was too proud but you know my phone was full the, the poop folder was already full <laughs> i need to stop being so proud of my poops but you know apparently i have 16 gigabytes so just poop shit pictures but you know it happens uh but anyways speaking of poopy people i do have a Little news story. I thought you were going to say, speaking of poopy people, you know, let's talk about the president elect. <laughs> how, how do you, Julie, no, feel he's about a poopy person? He's different. He's into, he's not into the poopy. He's into the he's poopy. <laughs> how, how do you and, um, how are you and, um, Julie adjusting to the fact that we have the Cheeto back in office? Well, Julie's fine. She's white. I, you know, she, she, uh-huh. she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're not trying to roll back her citizenship so <laughs> we'll see we'll see uh at this point you know he got the popular vote he he won fucking fair square he crushed her you know kamala votes did not show up joe biden got over fucking 15 million more votes than she did and trump himself who got a lot of votes got three million less votes than he got last election which means oh, wow. he lo- got less votes. Like it was very possible to beat him if people showed up in just even remotely the same numbers that they showed up for last time, but it was not to be. Uh, too many people were in the in between shit. So I don't know. I'm kind of like the. I'm j- I'm so exhausted from this election year and this whole thing. Even because Trump's been campaigning for the last two years, and so he's been in the news cycle all that long. I'm, I feel like I'm just so burnt out. That I need to like take a holiday break before my outrage kicks in or whatever, you know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm fucking tired at this point. So, let me get America voted for it. So, let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully, uh, the worst doesn't come true. I'm worried about the things I am reading so far, but you know, we shall see what happens on day it's, one. It's scary that there's no like checks or balances for the. For the, the radical right mm-hmm. with with Senate control and potentially you know, the House control, try to get more more judges and shit. It's it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be I don't know. But again, this is what the people voted for. So let's see what happens. Until then, I'll just sit back, kick my feet up, and <laughs> maybe get ready to point and laugh, even though that's well, gonna make us all broke. <laughs> I want to say one thing about the election. I am a YouTube junkie, and. And I'm on social media quite a bit. And throughout the night of the election, I was still getting these advertisements saying like, if only you donate X amount, like we have a chance. And I'm like, listen, if if our party didn't do a good job or like if the campaign had some like shortcomings, don't make it seem like because I didn't donate $10. To like, <laughs> yeah. And so, so even, even like after the election, I just got like a random mass text from Nancy Pelosi 
saying like we we need money to secure at least house seats like um like you know adult, your donations can help a lot in the following ways uh, and I thought mm-hmm. to myself, stop asking me for money. Like, don't don't act like because I give you money. Like, what's the, where's the money going to go? What are you doing with the money? Yeah, I guarantee it. It's a, I agree. Um, I got a text, a mass text. And I don't know if this was a typo or something that just got released that shouldn't have. But it started off with in, uh, fuck, what are they called? Not quotations, uh, parentheses saying, God damn it. And then it said, Donald Trump uh, is ahead on polls or whatever, about to win the election. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it was like a message that got saved as a, you know, and, you know, God damn it, this is about to happen and someone forgot to delete it or the God damn it was supposed to, you know, be to, uh, to us, but the goddamn it was in lowercase letters, and then the then the sentence began. Donald Trump's going to win the election. Blah blah blah. Please donate a dollar to whatever. Click here. And stop. Uh, say no to stop texting or whatever. It's like, wait, did you mean to say goddamn it, or is that <laughs> uh, you guys are just not even proofreading these anymore? Like you're just mass shipping the mail. Maybe not. It's like, come on, man. But yeah, I, I'm still getting so many that is ridiculous. Like now, Trump has been elected. So please donate a dollar so we can save the world. It's like no, leave me alone. I gave Kamala three month three dollars six months ago. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's plenty. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, no. Uh, we'll see what happens. The world is wacky. I will say stock market is up. So if you own stock, keep an eye on that shit because it is the chance to make some money. I know I have been. <laughs> so that is one positive that the corporate world loves Trump, that even if you're a broke guy, uh, you can buy a little bit of stock. And right now is the time to do it because shit is kind of going up a lot. So do it before it crashes again. <laughs> we'll see what happens again. Uh, but anywho. The only time I've ever played the stock market is in the game of life. <laughs> Not actual life, but the board game. And oh, then, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about stocks. Uh, honestly, I didn't really know much either, but I weirdly started watching my first stock as a kid without even knowing about it, and it was WWE stock because I knew that they went public because uh, I was, you know, you know, I'm a huge wrestling fan, as the world knows. And I just remember them going public and me being like, oh, man, I think they have a stock now. And no one came out. Yeah. And at one point, it was like 14 bucks. Well, that baby stock being starting out uh, that slow uh, as the tens of dollars is now worth like 125 bucks, <laughs> which is worth more than Disney, which is wild. Oh, wow. And so... Uh, I remember like telling people when I was a kid, oh, invest in that. It's going to grow. And they're like, no, man, it's wrestling. What are you talking about? And that shit would have fucking made their money 10 times the money that they put in. Um, So I started out with little things, but during the pandemic, like I had like if I had like 30 bucks here and there, I would buy like a little bit of a stock or something. And you can, you know, I'm on Robinhood, so you can buy partial stocks, too. So, you can, you know, you you just do Robinhood.com. Uh, it's an app. I downloaded it. Oh, so I remember I bought uh, the airlines were really low during the pandemic. So it was like historically low. So you just knew that it had to go up at some point. You know what I mean? So I bought in when it was really low and then those started to go up and then I made a little money there and then take the money. Uh, the profits that I didn't rather than keeping that, I would sell the some stock and use the profit to buy other stock and then you know little did i know i'm growing a little portfolio along the way so and i also do acorns which is a cool one uh it's kind of like you just set aside like a certain amount of money and then you tell them how aggressive you want to be and what type of stocks you want and then the app does it for you and then it literally has been growing that little bit of money and i only i only do like a few bucks a month like maybe maybe 50 to 100 which is nothing mm-hmm. And then, like, little by little, that money grows, and I see it in real time. It's like, oh, shit. So it's good stuff. Like, you know, it's not like I'm a millionaire, but at least it's good to know you can – everybody can invest in it. You just got to, like, do it. It's it's very intimidating at first, 
but once you kind of start doing it, you know, you get it. It's it's good. Um, but anyways, I have a news story. Yes, I interrupted is, your news story. That is just the level of pity <clears throat> that I think you will love. Okay. And hit it! So this one, shout out to People Magazine for this one. And this just goes to show that there's just such a thing as an evil woman! Because this lady apparently married a man who sustained a concussion and forgot that they broke up seven months earlier. <laughs> you can't make this up. Uh, what? Yeah. The day after a woman dumped her boyfriend, he sustained a concussion and forgot they broke up. Seven months later, they tied the knot. Uh, apparently, uh, they got married. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The day they broke up, Mitchell, the day Jenna broke up with Mitchell, sorry, folks, because she was too overwhelmed with life, he got into a ski accident that left him severely concussed. Uh, he was 22 at the time. He was attempting to do a flip at Utah's Beaver Mountain, because nar, bro, when he landed wrong, <laughs> hitting his head. He blacked out and woke up while paramedics were, tack- were taking him down the hill, completely unaware of what was happening. Uh, he said it was... He was going off a jump, and it was super icy. His feet went in front of him, and so he went off the jump and landed on his head. It was a pretty severe concussion. He ended up failing most of his courses that semester. I had to take a leave of absence after that to help his brain heal. Uh, apparently, it impacted his memory, causing him to forget his breakup with Jenna entirely. At the hospital, he called who he thought was still his girlfriend uh, to pick him up because he couldn't drive. And she, apparently, of course, she was like, I'm like, why is he messaging me this? I just broke up with him. <laughs> Which is just perfect. She continued, Mitch kept messaging me and trying to hang out after his concussion. And I was confused as to why he would keep messaging me because we had broken up. <clears throat> I thought that maybe he took the statement of saying friends really seriously. It even was to the point when I told him that my roommates and I had a hard day. And he came and brought us ice cream. It's like, ah. Oh. So then she immediately regretted the decision to break up because he had been so kind <clears throat> and thoughtful and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So uh, and I guess then, then later on they got back together. And blah, 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 blah. And they got married seven months later? Yes, sir. Why are so, 22-year-olds getting married? I know. Seriously. And like. Was she pregnant? <laughs> and it's not even his. Dun, dun, dun. It might not be. While he was while he was skiing, she was probably getting like gang banged. <laughs> it's like, wait, Jenna, <laughs> why is the baby brown? What Jose? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I I, I twenty two. Maybe back in like the 1800s, I was old to get married, but like now it's like, yeah, fuck that. No, no way. way. 22, you still have <laughs> so much life ahead of you. And like, if you look at their uh, picture here, I'll send you the story so you can see. They look young. Like, it's not, you know, they, they look like they got some life to live. <laughs> it's, I'm just saying, especially if he got, if he had fucking. Issues healing his brain. That man still needs to grow up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like those are the years that you still got to mature a little bit. Like I don't feel like I was a grown up. And I mean, shit, I just got engaged and I'm 36. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't feel like I was ready for any of that shit until they look Mormon. And by, when I say they look Mormon, they look a little inbred. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of all look alike. A lot of white people. A lot of white people. Um, but anyways, I guess, guys, the lesson here to learn that if uh, you get dumped and you want to get your girl back, all you got to do is just try a gnarly flip, bros. And if you land, you look cool as shit, and she'll take you back. And if you don't, she'll take you back anyways because she'll feel pity for you. And that um, is a frat chat lesson. Speaking of news stories, did you see? It's really sad, um, but um, 
it ended up being like a big political like uh, issue. There's this guy, he's like the squirrel daddy on social media. He has a, yes. he had a squirrel and a raccoon that yes. like he saved when they were babies and um, he domesticated them and he lives somewhere in New York. And then I guess someone ratted him out that he, sh- he didn't have a permit or whatever. And they like, uh, like these cops like broke down his door and like, like ransacked his house and like euthanized these animals. It's just so sad. And I think to myself, like, you know, this is where our taxpayer money goes to. Like, come yeah. on. Like, it's just a squirrel. There's so many other things to worry about, especially in New York, than like a pet squirrel. Like, really? So, like, it ended up being a, a, a big, like, political issue that people were like, you know, the damn Democrats and the Republicans were like, you know, we, we're, we're going to stand by this man. And I'm like, how is this political? But anyway, <laughs> my, my point is... I was like, this guy looks familiar. He has an OnlyFans account. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah. And so when people have OnlyFans accounts and they're like, don't share my pictures, everyone does screenshots and post pictures. Yeah, of but course. like, I was like, I've seen him before. <laughs> OnlyFans. See my flashback to the spank bank <laughs> like csi there's like numbers flashing it's all a bunch of wieners like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i knew it <laughs> and part of me is like um i don't know i this sounds so shitty to say but it's it's hard it's hard for me to take someone seriously knowing that they like you know, put things in the buttholes and like, you know, on camera and like, you know, do weird stuff for, for money. It's like, and then go do squirrel voices on Instagram for kids. I was like, what is this? <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. Hey, times are tough, dude. You lived in New York. You get it. It's, uh, it's not, it's not cheap right now. <laughs> You got to do a lot of things, you know. You got sometimes you got to make squirrel videos in the morning, and then at night take that squirrel and stick it up your ass. It's what you do to make it good. Uh, just <laughs> oh yeah, Simo. Just yum. Uh, anyhow, Mister Mo, uh, we normally at this point would be having sixty seconds of comedians roasting each other, ladies and gentlemen. But this week we're not going to do that because. This whole rest of this episode is designed oh. to crush Simo's life and soul and ego. <laughs> Guys, I'm so, nervous. I'm so really nervous need. about today. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't need the pain anymore. I'm not going to be one to kick a man when he's going to be down. And boy, he's going to be down more like it's Friday night after a couple of tequilas. So let me tell you... Uh, this is going to be good. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, our fellow Americans listening, we realize that Americans get a lot of hate for being a little dumb sometimes. And we're here to give an average American a chance to prove that shit wrong. That's why Simo's here, to defend his people's honor, to defend his people's dreams, and to defend their intelligence. When I put him to the test to take a U.S. knowledge trivia uh, quiz. And we're going to rock here at the Frat Chat Podcast. We have three different sections. We have a history. We have a president. We have a state section. And we shall see if... Simo can represent America, or if he'll make you all look like a complete dumbasses. So, strap in, tune in, strap in, <laughs> strap on, whatever you want to strap, go for it. Strap in, strap on, and sit down. Yeah, this is the <laughs> Frat Chat Podcast, and we salute you. Oh, yeah, USA, USA. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, we got we got three sections. Okay, so I'm just gonna defend your honor, and uh, let's see how you do. 
So the first one, the first section, is just your flat out history trivia. Okay. I got a few questions here. A note, ladies and gentlemen, these are meant uh, to be the type of test that you all should be able to pass. So let us know how you do. And are these multiple choice? Uh, no, these. Damn it! These you should know the answer to. Okay. But they are again. They're not like impossible questions. And actually, one here I can give you multiple choice because uh, that one should be. It's that type of format. But other than. The others, you should be able to know, like the name, like who are these fucking things. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I have faith okay. in you. These are again, these are intuitive answers. The average American should be able to pass this test. Will you? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> <That's> who, do, <laughs> who do you think knows more about American history, me or Donald Trump? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um, and actually the first question <clears throat> okay is uh is is multiple choice so you'll be you'll get you'll get some that are multiple choice i guess in it but not yeah. okay anyways first question and i guess uh, we got to get we got to get dramatic here so let me let me get a cool, you know, little little theme song or something here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Bend it, bam. Sorry, folks, bear with us. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. I can get down with this. <laughs> my, <laughs> my answer for the first one is going to be C. <laughs> well, good, because we're starting with one, two, three, and four. So you're wrong. Oh, damn it. Game's over. <laughs> So, well, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? Oh, uh, shit. You have July 4th, 1776. July 2nd, 1778. June 14th, 1776. Or August 2nd, 1776. Okay, so Declaration of Independence. That's right. I'm ass I'm assuming it's related to Independence Day, mm -hmm. not the movie. Um, Great movie. And so I think it would be July Fourth something, right? July Fourth. Uh, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Wait, no. Uh, when... The answer is August 2nd, 1776. The final draft was completed July 4th, but it wasn't signed until a month later. People don't know that. Well, I think the average person does. Now, sure. why don't we celebrate anything on August 2nd? Well, because no one likes the signing of anything. You know, signing is boring. This is when you, when you fucking wrote that shit. And we're all in the room together. You know, sign. You know what? I couldn't tell you the difference between <laughs> articles of confederation or the, the articles of independence or the Gettysburg address. I don't know what these things are. Oh, sorry. So you got lost and ended up in the wrong rally because <laughs> you're like, <laughs> bring back like the Confederacy. <laughs> bring back. <that. laughs> uh, so let me start a little chart here. Uh, Okay, so I'm yeah. 0 for 1. Ooh. <laughs> Not looking Great good, start. guys. <laughs> Great start. And note, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, that was supposed to be an easy one. Uh, Not just kidding. That was an average one. I was, was going to test the room. Okay. This one is not multiple choice because it's a naming question. But okay. how many presidents? You know, this is Note, this is relevant because Trump has been now, there's been two assassination attempts that we know of, and apparently there's rumors that Iran is behind uh, a third uh, attempt that never successfully got off the ground. But it's there's information coming along that, uh, at least to the point that this podcast is being recorded. Uh, 
So it's been in the news a lot. That's scary. Um, some presidents have been successfully killed. How many presidents have been successfully assassinated while in office? And if you can name who they are, you'll get an extra point. Um, okay, so I think, obviously, Lincoln, right? Mm-hmm. He was assassinated. Um, who's That's the guy wild. on the $10 bill? Alexander Hamilton. They have the show. Oh, is he a president? No. Oh, shit. Um, is he? Cause I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just thinking of Broadway. I don't know. Okay, so, and then um, John F. Kennedy Jr.? That's no, true. He, Wait, was he a junior or no? John F. Kennedy. He was, but it's relevant for the point of this. Yeah, I, I won't. I won't fuck you over if you say junior or not junior. I'm not that. Okay. I'm not a monster. JFK. <laughs> I just know JFK has the same birthday as me, so I'm just gonna say Lincoln and JFK. Those okay. are the only two I think that were shot. Harvey okay. Milk wasn't president, but I think he was. Martin Luther King got shot, but he wasn't president. So yeah, I think Correct. there's two. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, that's just a random guy to the point of this conversation. <laughs> not president, wow. but great guy. No, we're gonna be wrong. Not just a random, I'm not saying random guy. Don't cancel me. He is the greatest. Okay, uh, two, two, two presidents. presidents. Final okay. answer. Right, this is final answer. And he is wrong again. Damn it. Wait, who else? Who else got shot? <laughs> there were four. Uh, American presidents that were successfully assassinated in office. Uh, what? Uh, one, yep. It was Abraham Lincoln in 1865 by John Wilkes Booth, James A. Garfield in 1881 by Charles J. Guto, William McKinley in 1901 by Leon, oh, God, I'm going to butcher this, Cholgosh, and John F. Kennedy in 1963 by Lee Harvey Oswald. Wait, wait, wait. Who was this Miss McKinley person? We had a president. McKinley. Name McKinley? Yeah, William McKinley. He died in 1901. Wait, he was and a president? Yeah, he was a president. Of the United States? Yes, the 25th goddamn president of the United States. He served from 1897. I didn't know that. In 1901, uh, towards the end of his term. And uh, yeah, it was for a note. Ronald Reagan was shot, but he wasn't killed. Uh, so, you know, these were just how many presidents. So, we are starting off about as well as expected. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Um, hold on. Let me see. I'm going to make this one for you. The next question, because I do think you have a good chance. Uh, of getting this. Um, so this one will also be multiple choice, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, C. <laughs> I get wrong. No, just kidding. Uh, the acquisition of most of the land in the Mississippi River's drainage basin west of that river by the U.S. From the French uh, First Republic in 1803 was called what? Uh, this was bought from Napoleon. Louisiana Purchase. That was uh, choice, choice one, correct? Uh, so, yes, he didn't even need to get through the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's impressive. I still have the, the cool music playing because I did not expect him to answer that that quickly. Yes, Louisiana Purchase is correct. Uh, I feel like. Uh, at the same time, I'm gonna make fun of you for getting things wrong. I gotta, you know, have something ready f- for it if you. You didn't you think know. I would get one right. Well, guess what? I did. <laughs> I remember. I remember that Louisiana purchase um, was a big purchase from the French. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Let's see, we're ready now. For Simo to get things right. So, see. America, you ain't done yet. He's back. He's ready. He's going to make you look good. Okay. So far, I have a grade of 33%. <laughs> hey, uh, that's almost good enough to get you into community I don't want to sell myself short. 33.33333%. That's right. 
That's right. It all counts sometimes. Okay. Oh, geez. Ooh. What's yeah, next? We're ready <clears throat> for the next one. Abraham Lincoln, speaking of assassinated presidents, yeah, see, that's a good segue. Was known for a fantastic speech, a rousing speech. Whoever's calling me right now, it's Second Dickens. It's oh. the Gettysburg Address, where he addressed the divisions of the nation and his dream for America coming through the Civil War. Name the first sentence of that famous speech. We all have to learn this shit. I moved to America in the sixth grade and I had to learn this shit. At some point, every kid has to fucking do this uh, at some stupid presentation or something. They put some stupid costume on you. you go out there. So what's the first sentence in the Gettysburg Address? I think I, I think I might. I, I know that score is 20 years i think and so i think i think he says something like four oh yeah Simo. like you four like score and like seven days ago or something like that four four score and seven i don't know four score and seven years ago <clears throat> our mm-hmm. forefathers something i don't know the rest you actually <sighs> I'm going to give you a quarter point. Okay. Because you were actually pretty close. It's four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know all that. And then, you know, this a concede of liberty and dedicate to the proposition that all men are created equal. Yeah, don't forget that, motherfuckers. You know, and, uh, I, and I feel like the average person watching him speak were probably not listening, but whispering among themselves. They're like, what a awkward looking man what he looks he looks like a giant he's so lanky i didn't realize i was voting for a man that ugly (laughs) he does look a bit like lurch right from the adams family does (laughs) he does so i don't uh, blame john wilkes booth because john wilkes booth is probably like let me exterminate the monster in the theater (laughs) ah that's Frankenstein's monster. I'll save thee. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he was a hero. That's why. He, that's why he gave a speech after before he ran away. Uh. Anyways, I have a quarter point. I'll take a quarter point. Yeah, that's not. That's not so bad. Uh. Now we're gonna move on to the third one. And uh, how do you, how do you feel so far? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep moving. Uh, and this next one, multiple choice as well. Let's rock. What city was the first capital of the United States? Was it New York City? Was it Washington, D.C.? Was it Richmond, Virginia? Or Raleigh, North Carolina? Fuck, I was going to say Philadelphia. Because they have a bell. I don't know. Shit. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, so when we first became a nation... It was 13 colonies, right? Right. So it had to be somewhere there. So what yeah. it, was, it was, you said Richmond, New York, um, Washington, D.C., or Raleigh, North Carolina? Well, I want, I, I want to say New York City because that's where we live. Um, Maybe it was always DC. I don't, I didn't know there was an a, an original capital. Fuck. I'm gonna say New York. That's your final answer. Yes. Maybe I don't know. Can yeah, I phone a friend? Yes. <laughs> y- yes or no? Yes. Final answer. New York. Okay. And you are actually correct. Oh. Holy shit! Because sometimes lucky's better than good. 
Just to see now, it's New York City uh, was the first capital of the United States after the Constitution was approved. Uh, and in fact, George Washington's inauguration took place on April 30th, 1789, when he was sworn in as the President of the United States on the balcony of New York's Old City Hall. Oh, wow. Trivia for you. So, yo, you're, you're coming back. You're coming the race. You're in this, baby. You're in this. So, uh, okay. That I sounds got feet, good. Mr. Bo. I got, you are now. I pulled that out of my ass. <laughs> Sometimes, as you do. <laughs> I pulled that out of my ass along with three gerbils. I'm feeling good. <laughs> uh, so, right now, you're actually almost through 50%. Because you have 2.75 wrongs, as I gave you a quarter point on the last one, and 2.25 right. So you're coming back. You're doing pretty good. Doing, okay, good. Doing I'm ready for the next one. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. So. Just don't um, ask me about states. <laughs> uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of, of all the ages. Corn. <laughs> uh, okay, so this next one, you'll get you'll get a little multiple choice as well. Uh, so let's get the let's get the boom. Who was <clears throat> the first U.S. president to be impeached? Was it President Andrew Johnson? Was it Donald Trump? Was it Ronald Reagan? Or was it Jimmy Carter? Fuck, I was gonna say Bill Clinton. That's not an, an option. I don't I don't think they, they did impeachments back in the day. I think that's like a new thing, right? Nope. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna. You said Jimmy Carter was one. Yep. Okay. Let's say Jimmy Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Who who was it? It was President Andrew Johnson in 1868. Wait, I uh, thought it's isn't it Andrew Jackson? Uh, there was Andrew Johnson and Andrew Jackson. Different guys. Oh. Yeah, I was, I was going to correct you. <laughs> no. Okay, so no. <laughs> Andrew Johnson, what did he do? Why did he get impeached? Uh, did, did one of the interns suck his dick in the Oval Office? <laughs> he lied about it under oath? Uh, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Apparently, he violated the Tenure of Office Act, specifically that he had acted to remove from office Edwin Stanton and to replace him with... Brevet Major General Lorenzo Thomas, a Secretary of War at interim. So uh, he violated some office act, uh, which which seems pretty tame, considering what you know the other guy got acquitted of. But <laughs> much later, uh, but that's just me. Uh, you know, I almost threw Bill Clinton in there as a choice for you, but I figured if I threw in Bill Clinton, it would confuse you because then there would be three people in there that the answer is possible. And I didn't want to be that person. So uh I'm sorry, Mr. Mo, I guess that didn't help you. Uh three point seven five wrong to two point twenty five right. I'm still in the game. It's okay. You're I got still points very much in the game. There's there's very much to go here. Uh, you're doing good. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, up next, what year did the United States uh, enter World War One? Was it 1917, 1913, 1920, or 1911? Oh shit! I was going to say 1940 something with Hitler. Ah, uh, okay. Let me think about this. 
we had the Roaring Twenties. And so the Roaring Twenties were a lot of fun. There probably wasn't war. So maybe it was earlier. Um, World War One. World War I. See, I thought my grandpa fought in World War I, but maybe not. Um, You're doing great. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to... I'm going to say 1911. Uh, final answer? Yes. Okay. And the answer oh, is 1914. 1917. 17. That's oh, right. shit. That's when the U.S. entered World War I. Uh, and that were, no, it, was going was like, on, it was already going on from, from like 1914, I believe. It's just the U.S. came into it a little later. You know, oh, shit. Do. Because it wasn't originally a U.S. conflict. Who were we fighting? Were we fighting Japanese? No, this was against Germany. Oh. <laughs> Not a great question to ask uh, while playing this game. <laughs> Germany lost both World War I and World War II. Uh, different governments. Similar strategies, actually, in war, which is interesting. Uh, and they're actually, a fun fact, had uh, the exact same strategy in World War II as Napoleon did. And when he was fighting against Russia and lost and had the same shit happen to both countries because they both got had to delay their campaigns to invade Russia and they ended up fighting there in the Russian winter. Yeah, fuck. It's so goddamn cold out there. And nah. um, yeah, they got destroyed. So uh, I guess it just goes to say people just don't learn. Uh, anyways, keeping this thing moving. Uh, hmm. Next question. Who was the first president? George Washington. <laughs> no. <laughs> to appear on U.S. television. I thought you were going to say on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it JFK? Was it Franklin Delano Roosevelt, also known as FDR? Wait, Delano? That's not his name. Yeah. Franklin Delano Franklin Roosevelt. Delano? Yikes. Delano. Delano. Uh, Richard Nixon or Abraham Lincoln? Who is the first one to appear on okay. television? So I think I know this because um, um, back in the day, I think JFK and Richard Nixon had the first televised debate. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know which one came first. I, uh. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that JFK, um, I think that he won because he was attractive. And I think that Nixon was like sweaty and gross and people were, and people voted for the more attractive of the two uh. sex cells. So I, I think, I think that JFK was the first one on TV. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen. That is wrong. No, Tommy Gale. Because you are correct in the bit of trivia that you gave us out. That was uh, that did happen. JFK and Richard Nixon debated themselves. A master debated themselves, as some would say, uh, on national TV. And Nixon was sweating uh, like a whore in church, as yeah. they say. Uh, or like me, just walking up a flight of stairs. It yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that did happen, and it cost Nixon the election. He later on went to become president, but the first uh, president to actually uh, be televised is Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, in 1939 uh, at the World's Fair in New York. Uh, they had TVs back then? Yeah, they, they had, had just TVs. radios. No, they had TVs back then. And he had a fireside chat broadcast, which was meant to smooth the troubled Americans uh, that were going through hard times during the Great Depression. So it started out with radio. He would have, you know, uh, his thing going on. But then he, he was on TV. Yeah, 1939. Shit. Yeah. So he was preferred. He no, he preferred the radio, but he was on TV. So, Mister Mo, I still have faith in you. I don't. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but that is four point seven five points 
towards the wrong category and 2.25 towards the right category. So that right there concludes. Actually, no, it doesn't. I got two more in the trivia side and the history side. Uh, so the next one. What was the first state to legalize marijuana for medicinal use? And I will give you a bonus point if you can tell me the year. Uh, mm, I feel like... I feel like Colorado um, is always pretty progressive with that kind of stuff. Or maybe is Seattle a state? No, not Seattle. Port is Portland? No. Those are cities. I feel like the West Coast likes weed because every time I go to the West Coast, everyone's so relaxed. I don't know if it's just yeah. the way of life, if it's the weather, or just if it's the marijuana. I'm going to go with Colorado. <sighs> and uh, do you want to take a guess of the year? Um, uh, 2008? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my, my voice is going to go hoarse when I'm done with this because wrong! <laughs> <laughs> no. Was it, was it California? <laughs> it's California! I went at you so hard because you said you went to the West Coast, but where in the West Coast do you fucking go? That you're so relaxed. California, hey, baby, where they have the best dispensaries. Well, because, because they do have great dispensaries, but. I didn't know if it was for medicinal purposes. I know that I think Colorado, you're able to like buy shrooms like at the store. <laughs> yes, yes. So but, that's why I thought that they were more progressive. But California was the first one for medicinal purpose, uh, which which I feel like I kind of remember it back in the news. But it was in 1996 that it happened. Obviously, you don't lose a point for the 1986. It's a bonus. Uh, but that is five points. So we have Arnold Schwarzenegger to thank for that. No, no, that was he was governor later. I was, I don't oh. know he was governor, governor of California in 1996 was a guy named Pete Wilson. <laughs> and, and if you look at if you look at old Pete here, I'm texting you a picture right now. That looks about right. That man definitely looks like he smokes a doobie before he. Goes oh out. yeah, <laughs> what a sexy guy. <laughs> Tracks. Look at look at Pete's eyes. <laughs> Pete's high as a motherfucker. I love that guy already. I've only <laughs> first time I see him, and I love him. He uh, also founded Uber Eats. That's oh shit. That makes I'm sense. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, again, that is five seven five towards the wrong, two point two five towards correct. Uh, this is the final <clears throat> question in trivia. Uh, so I feel like you know this horse is starting to take off but let's see what happens <laughs> uh, two sets of father and sons have served as presidents in the United States what are their names okay I think I know this <clears throat> there's George Bush and George W. Bush um, and then I think my gut tells me I should talk about Liz Cheney, but Liz Cheney. she wasn't a president. Uh, uh I don't know. Say what? Oh, oh, Adams. There was, there was, there was two Adams early on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're father and son. Oh what shit. They're that? also Roosevelt's. Okay. So oh shit! Sets. You gotta pick. You got. You know the Bush run. I'm gonna tell you that was correct. All right. I'm gonna say. Okay. So okay. There's a song that I know. It goes like this: Washington, <laughs> Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Taylor. So um, John Adams and John Quincy Adams. Final answer. Yes. Were they I'm brothers? And I'm going to make this one a two-pointer as well because this is two different sets. 
And ladies and gentlemen, you're back in this game because yes. Ding Wing, Wingo Chicka Wing, uh, you're correct. Holy shit. That was impressive. I did not expect a children's song to come save you, but at the end of the day, this is what the average American will remember. This is how this means this game is working. It is indeed John Adams and John Quincy Adams and George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush. Um... I always thought when I was a kid that FDR and uh, Teddy Roosevelt were father and son, but they're actually fifth cousins. Oh. Um, yeah, that got me as well for a few years. If they're fifth cousins, then that means that they could be kissy cousins and we wouldn't really raise an eyebrow. <laughs> That's right. But they would have been gay, so then I would have been like, get them! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, dude, you are literally right back in this game. You have 5.75 in the wrong category and 4.25 in the right category. Okay, so I'll take it. You're right back in this thing. You're okay. tracking good. Okay. Now we have finished the history section. Uh, this is the president section where I'll give you a, a number and you tell me he was president. And note, this sounds harder than it is, but these are some of the most famous presidents. So that's the hint I will give you. Okay. Uh, some of these are easier than others, obviously. Uh, but you should be able to come up with these. And I'm not going to make these. These were not made multiple choice. Because no, ladies and gentlemen, Simo is dyslexic. And if I name it, 16 presidents right now, it's going <laughs> to fuck him up even worse. So, <laughs> anyways. Uh, the first question. On the president's side, who was the first U.S. president? Oh, um, John, no, uh, uh, George, George Washington. Oh, you fucking, oh my God, yes! <laughs> 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 he got that. <laughs> he fucked that up. I was about to quit at this goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know that one. Woo! Did he have like wooden yes. teeth? That's right. George Washington was indeed. What did you say, John? Uh, yeah. I, I just there's a lot of Johns out there. Um, I I think uh, I think George Washington uh, cut down a cherry tree and like owned up to it and had wooden teeth. <laughs> uh, I I always wondered if you really have. A wooden teeth. Did George Washington? Because that doesn't sound right. How the fuck would you eat? I feel like you would get splinters. So no, he had. Uh, they were not made of wood. His dentures were made from a variety of materials, including uh, ew, human teeth, teeth from other animals such as cows and horses, ivory from elephants and walruses, metal alloys such as lead and tin. And copper and silver. No wonder he died. He had lead in his fucking mouth. Ew. Um, I said they were embedded in a lead base and held together with a steel springs. And they that's were worse than anything I've ever put in my mouth. That's for sure. That's right. Uh, especially animals. I said they were high maintenance, maintenance and cost him a lot of pain. And he had to avoid public speaking because of his dentures. And he rarely smiled or laughed. Oh, that was sad. Uh, apparently... He began losing his teeth as early as his 20s and was eventually, you know, forced to wear those stupid things. Uh, wow, that sucks. That really sucks. Sorry, George. I wonder what, what, Maybe they didn't have toothbrushes back then. I mean, they definitely didn't. The hygiene back then would have been shit. Especially imagine, I can't imagine how stinky it must have been back yeah. in, the, in the good old days. Especially war in the 1700s when, you know, Europe cuts off all the supplies to America. You know, you're in deep in the trenches. And then George Washington walks up to you like, hey, brother, I have a thought for America. Like, oh, George, oh. <laughs> it smells like shit. <laughs> Can you write me a letter? <laughs> you know what? So I went to back then. <laughs> This is kind of random, but I watched this TikTok video the other day, and it said that Christopher Columbus um, sailed to and, and like landed in the Bahamas and then went back home. 
That's yeah. not America. <laughs> oh, uh, first Columbus trip landing. I know he yeah, did. Yeah, the Nina, about the Pinta, the Santa Maria. <laughs> yes, yeah, San Salvador Island uh, in the Bahamas. But, I mean, it is basically. It's, it's right there. You, then you see, like, all the other shit. You know? Everyone's like, I feel like growing up, we learned that Christopher Columbus was like, it was like a famed explorer. Yeah, he's a great but, guy. <laughs> but what we didn't learn is that he died in jail and um, he got lost. He got yeah. lost. Yeah. I did. don't understand. Well, we have so many snatches of him. I'm like, yikes. In Venezuela, we did learn that he was lost and that he accidentally discovered America. It was about to be a mutiny. In fact, when he finally found it, uh, basically his crew was like, if you don't find this shit in the next couple of days, I'm going to throw your ass overboard mm-hmm. <laughs> and turning around. And he was like, no, give me like three days or something. I promise you on the third day, by the third day. And he was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. like, the third day they found land. And they're like, yay, we're saved. And he became what well, he became, whatever. But I think I shared the story on the show where I said, uh, I was the lead in the Christopher Columbus play and at, in my school, in my third grade class, where we had to all present our own little skits about it. And I had researched him and found out he died in jail. So we threw that in there. Uh, and then we ended up winning like what a little award or whatever, the contest. And then I was named. We ended up having the the final class play being Christopher Columbus because the teacher was like, well, since we all did this, and I was named Christopher Columbus. In the league nice. role. <laughs> nice. That's right. <laughs> so I was teaching. It's been all it was downhill a, from yeah. there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was so mad when I was cast as an extra. I was like, wait, do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> I was lead class in Mrs. Gomez's class, okay? Lead Christopher Columbus, you bastards. But no, uh, Palin doesn't get you anywhere in this country. Uh, but anyway. Uh, you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Five, All right, seven, number one, I got wrong to five twenty-five. Right, you're almost in. The, if you get this one right, you'll be in the positive. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I referenced the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, it was done by this president, who was the third, not first, second, third. First was George Washington. No one knows who the second guy is. <laughs> Washington, uh, Adams, Jefferson, Jeff- Thomas Jefferson, the rapist. Thomas Jefferson, holy shit, that you're in the positives. Get back, baby. I'm better than ever because you are indeed correct, Thomas Jefferson. I think What's he was a sex addict. <laughs> yeah, right. I think, uh, this song, as stupid as it is, might save the game for you. This is this is great. Uh, this is wow. But again, it's proven the game works. The average American taught that stupid song. I moved to America after that song, so I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, in sixth grade, they're not they weren't teaching that shit. Uh, but I would have loved to learn that one. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at pictures of Thomas Jefferson, and what an ugly man! How oh. on earth did he get so much action? Well, you know, they were mostly slaves. So now they can say no. You know, just saying. What an ugly, ugly man. I'm just saying. And <laughs> I mean, they, they really did him a favor, making him look the way he does on like whatever coin he's on. Because, um... <laughs> to be fair, he kind of looks like Michael Caine. He, you know, the actor. He looks. Yeah, British guy. <laughs> he kind of looks ugly. like he's not that ugly. He's just an old man. And back then, everybody oh, no. looked like shit. You know, especially if you wore those wigs. I don't know if his is natural hair or a wig. But those wigs were disgusting. They smelled like shit. They had like fleas and lice and shit all in them. You fucking couldn't wash them barely. I let Michael Caine hit it from behind. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> But thank you, C. Uh, so, what's what's the next president? Okay, dude, you're you're rocking. I'm. I think the song might get you through quite quite a bit. Yeah, so, man. Uh, 
who was moving on next another president we've spoken about on the show i won't hint too much because they will totally give it away but who was the 16th u.s president very famous we've spoken about him 16. As he sings the song. I I don't know. I'm going to just go with Lincoln. Final answer? I think so. And you know, man, you're the positive. You did it. You're right. Abraham Lincoln. And uh, I think the dyslexia took over after a few numbers there. But you're right. <laughs> I can see the struggles. Well, you're in this, dude. You're 7.25 in the correct side now. All right. And 5.75 in the wrong side. You're, you're having a little bit of a lead. You're taking off. I like my, it. My, my mom didn't have much faith in me. I really I really want to have the the privilege of calling my mom and telling her that I got something right. Totally. <laughs> if you, if you mom, get more than right, wrong, this isn't like an A, B, C. If you get more than right than wrong, you win. So... You're, you're on track. You're doing good, dude. And this one was the section that I thought, I thought this section was definitely might have been harder because, you know, you have to think f- about the fucking presence, but uh, you're killing it so far. Nice. Okay. Another president we uh, referenced earlier here on the show. Uh, so hopefully you can think of him. Who was the 35th? U.S. President. Thirty fifth. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say we talked about him earlier. We so did. maybe was it JFK or Roosevelt? Oh, I'm gonna go with Roosevelt. Franklin, Franklin Dolores Roosevelt. <laughs> Delano. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. And I really wish it wasn't because wrong! You said it before! It was JFK, dude! You were so close! You are so close! And I almost gave you the hint that it was one of the four that was assassinated, but I thought that would totally give it away. And that's not fair to the integrity of the game. Just because I like you doesn't mean I have to rig it. He was, uh, a, he was a 35th, you said? Uh, correct. Okay. I'm going to remember that. So never forget. Is John F. Kennedy famous because he was shot? Or is he famous because he banged Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little column B. But he was also, I'll give him, uh, he was famous, you know, for a few things. He had the Bay of Pigs uh, scenario, which which was the closest <clears throat> the world has been to a uh, nuclear conflict, and he was able to to solve that uh, favorably. He was trying to have relations with Cuba before some argue the CIA was not happy with it and tried to take him out. <laughs> Depends on what you believe. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I think I think if he had a second term, like a full second term, and he got to like actually do his full agenda, he would have been more famous because he was a rather progressive person at the time where. You know, it was old white dudes who just wanted to keep things the old way. He was he was new blood, you know, and that meant civil rights and things like that had more of a chance under JFK. So uh, he was a good president to have during that time, I will say. And it would have been nice to see what he would have done if he would have been, you know, a full two-time president. But anywho. Wasn't he uh, also like the first Catholic president? I think so, actually. Uh, first, maybe the first Irish Catholic. Yeah, he was. He was, and apparently, uh, apparently that was an issue because they said that in domestic and foreign issues, Kennedy might have been unduly influenced by the Pope, which is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what people believe back there. And no, there's always a reason to shit on a candidate, but they would, the Pope's going to tell him what to do. So, um, however, it goes to show, you know, everybody is all on their, uh, especially on the right wing side, uh, they're all on their, let's take this country back to being 
you know, all about Jesus and shit, you know. Jeff K, a Democrat, was the first Catholic president, and the fucking right hated it. <laughs> so look where we are now. Uh, That's crazy. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, and up next, this is the final question on the president's side. Before we're on to the states, uh, I think you. Oh man, if you would have gotten JFK right, which you almost did, he would have been four for four. You are three for four in this section. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think you can get this one. I really do. Very famous president. Who is the forty-second president of the United States? I know. Mm. You obviously the song won't go this far, but I would start backwards. Okay, so I so think at least Donald guess. Trump was number forty-five. I think so that means that Obama was forty-four, and then Bush was forty-three, and then Bill Clinton was forty-two. Final answer? Yes. That is real. That's correct, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good. <laughs> that was a curveball. Curveball. She thought I was going to say wrong, but then we went with right. That is correct. Uh, so yeah, you're four for five. In this you section. know what? I, I my gut tells me that Bill Clinton was on. Epstein's Island on the regular. I think he was probably a big, um, a, 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 a big, I don't want to say customer, but a, a, a big um, part of the sex trafficking. You My see, gut tells me that. I disagree respectfully because here's the thing. We all know Clinton uh, liked to get his. He was, you know. Definitely a bit of a womanizer, as Britney, oh, Britney Spears song would say. But he had no trouble getting girls. Meanwhile, like a Prince Andrew, you look at him, he looks like a fucking creep. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Especially back in Clinton's playing days, a swing. Now, now Clinton kind of looks like the Crypt Keeper a little bit. <laughs> yeah. When he was younger, he was an attractive man. He was intelligent. He could. He had charisma. And he played the sax, so you know what that meant, ladies. Um, so, yeah, he was able to, I feel like he was able to get his. Meanwhile, I feel like forced sexual trafficking, is, you know, you look at Prince Andrew and you're like, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> if it wasn't at the Epstein Island, it would have been the parking lot of a Target or something like that. You know, it just, it just happened that he had good connections there. So, I don't know. I... I think that if clinton was on the list it would have come out by now because he was in the flight logs you know and it was like known that he had traveled with him a couple of times uh but i don't know let's see if i'm wrong but i do know and this this is crazy because this was supposed to be like the bombshell news that was supposed to potentially take away trump's chances of winning the election but they released it on a saturday which means that no one fucking saw it, and they did that purposely so no one would fucking see it. But it's Jeffrey Epstein tapes came out of him literally talking about how him, how Donald Trump uh, has interesting sexual choices and stuff, and that he knows all about it because they've been best friends for over like 10 or 15 years or whatever. Uh, I believe it. And it's literally on tape. It's, these are actual tapes. You can hear them yourself right now uh, if you just Google it. They're out there now. It's been released. But again, it came out on a Saturday. Like, I didn't even know until I think the day before the election, which is, you know, normally I'm on, on tune with this kind of shit. But yep, it was came out on a Saturday, which tells you everything there is to tell you. Meanwhile, the Hillary stuff, I think, came out on like a Monday. Everybody knows if you want to release something that you want no one to hear about it, you do it on a weekend. And if you have a long weekend in particular, like 4th of July, that's the best time because everybody goes out to barbecue, get drunk, and no one's looking at the news. Now, if you release something on a Monday, by fucking Friday, it's been talked to to death. So like, Wait, so what? That was early in the week. (laughs) Oh, so they came out. You talk about they talked about Hillary's emails on a Monday Mm -hmm. years ago or something recent. Mm -hmm. No, the, yeah, the years ago before the 2016 okay. election. It came out early in the week, so you could really fuck her over. <laughs> uh, so it's interesting. It's interesting. 
the All cost right. for the election. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So meanwhile, the news that could have potentially cost Trump the election was buried to come out on Saturday. So it kind of tells you who the media wanted to win this time around. Uh, and note, a lot of these media owners are rich billionaires. So <laughs> wonder why. But anyways, up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move to the state section. Oh, now, shit. Mr. Mo, I have emailed you a blank U.S. map. You can now open it. It's full with numbers. And in this section, I'm going to call out a number. And you're going to tell me what that state is. Okay. We have 10 states here. You're currently leading 8.25 in the correct side to 6. 6.75 in the wrong side. So you have a lead. You need to get at least five of these right. At least half of these right to win this game. Was this on the citizenship test? Um, no. The, the naming of the states? No, not at all. But they would, they would ask you like random uh, conflicting shit like like which was the sea on the most western side or something like that. So you gotta think, oh shit, northwest, east west. Or things like, you know, name the year that the US was in the actually, yeah, like things like that entering wars and stuff, they talk about that. They didn't talk about impeachments, but I don't know, some of these things. They didn't talk about assassinations. They did talk about the Declaration of Independence. So some yes, some no. It's the sh- short answer, I guess. Uh, these I put together using some of the basic knowledge that I knew, and then I went and you know went on the internet and started doing you know a basic cursory search, uh, things people should know about. So it's 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 well crafted. It's well crafted. So is Puerto Rico a state now? Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. Uh, they're not a state, but. Their their people are citizens because I feel like they should have a senator or like representatives. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, well, I think the thing is, uh, they purposely didn't necessarily want all like like it was like a concession to keep them their own independent territory that they would have their own people, but at the same time, like they were taking over, so they were going to be a territory so i don't know the the question of statehood has come up a few times so i do think eventually they will become a state but you know at, the, at this point the status quo i think just has bigger issues to fry you know no, no if it really becomes a, a state it's gonna fuck up our flag because we have 50 stars so we're going to get rid flags. of a state and i and i propose we get rid of florida just chop it right off and let it float off yeah. the river next to Cuba to the sea. Um, <laughs> I will say, I'm from a country in Venezuela. Uh, we grew up, when I was growing up, the flag had seven stars. But then when Chavez was president, he decided to add an eighth star to the flag. So I, I know what it's like to have your flag change. So, and it's changed before in America a few times. So I don't know. I feel like it's, it, it won't affect too much, but it would definitely. Uh, mean that everybody would have to buy new flags so the government would make cash <laughs> you know like all these if you think about it all these public schools and all these cooking you know uh, all the government offices would have to buy flags military offices military bases all around the world the government would get fucking a nice chunk of change by doing that <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so <clears throat> just saying Uncle Sam it's right there for the taking maybe, maybe I'll start uh, trademarking the flag with an extra star, uh, so then they have to pay me money. If you want to invest in this idea, send us an email fratchatpodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, anyways, we are here at the final section again. Ten questions. If you get five of these right, there's statistically no way you can lose. So. You got your map open on the email? Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm panicked because I, I know I do know some of them. 
<laughs> and note, uh, there's one or two in there that I think you'll definitely get, that you should be able to get. Alaska, Hawaii? <laughs> no, that, that, we didn't go that easy. <laughs> I don't think that oh. you're going to think of a moron, Jesus. <laughs> but I think you're, you'll be fine. Uh, you do have a chance. I really do think that you could pull this off. As far as you made it, I really, I'm, I'm very impressed with where you are right now. I think you got this. All right, so, I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, the first one on the the number uh, on the state side. Looking at your map, number two. And no, we're gonna Shit. post these maps. <laughs> I knew you're gonna say that because I don't know the difference to one and two. <laughs> I know. I know that that number three is California, and above California is either Oregon or Washington, but I don't know which one's the top. Um, okay, so number two, I'm gonna go with um Oregon. Or final answer? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we're looking at the map. If you're looking, you're going to find out that Zemo is correct. Yes. He's got one right here. Yes. We just need four more. <laughs> and you're definitely going to win this. Very impressive. You are, and you're also correct that Washington is the tippy top. So California, Oregon, Washington. So you're correct there. Uh, now that at least gives you the visualization of the map so you can get going from there. Don't you think it's kind of dumb to name our capital Washington, D.C. when we already have a Washington? Well, I think Washington, D.C. came before Washington State. Oh. Well, then they should have they should have been more creative with the names. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, every, every, every fucking state and city has like a Washington Street. Where it's, it's everywhere, you know, it's like he was like the beebs of politics back then. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, doing good so far, Mr. Mo. I'm, I'm impressed. I like it. All right. I'm ready. I'm next. I'm going to keep this moving right along. You take out your trusty map, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I will share this map with us on social so you guys can take this quiz too. Uh, we started with number two because I like to poo, and now we're gonna go with double doo doo because we're picking number twenty two, baby. Twenty two. That's fuck. I don't know this one. Okay, so okay, let me think about this. I know twenty six is Illinois, and it's next to it. Um. Yeah. So you live twenty two. It's. You live next to the fucking state. You should goddamn know. I th- I don't know if it's Mississippi or Arkansas or I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Iowa. Um, no, yes, I'm gonna go with Iowa because I feel like Iowa's around there somewhere. Final answer, Iowa. Yes. Okay, and then wrong! Oh, no, what was it? The answer is Missouri. Is Missouri? Would, as some would say, Missouri. And if you Missouri? In, if you live in Missouri, say Missouri, but we can't say that. So um, is, isn't, well, isn't Kansas City is in Missouri? Wait, what? Isn't Kansas City in Missouri? Kansas City, Missouri, yeah. I thought that was a lot further west because I... Oh, shit. Now, Iowa is indeed uh, right there. It's above it. So oh, it is? Damn it. it. Very close. Oh, man. And they kind of look, in a way, a little bit similar. They do look like a full puzzle piece. <laughs> uh, you were so close. So, I guess the I show- forgot Missouri was even a state, to be honest. I wouldn't have even thought that. <laughs> you said Mississippi. So, I was like, oh, he's close. He's close. He can do this. But uh, it just means you're keeping the game interesting. So now you have 9.25 in the correct side and 7.75 in the wrong side. Uh, however, 
I do know that you'll a thousand percent get this one because there's supposed to be a, you know, an easy one in there. And if you don't get this one, then I have no hope for America. I know what Florida is. Well, <laughs> you guessed it already because that's going to be the question. Which one's number 39? <laughs> yeah, that's Florida. It is Florida. So, like a uh, you <laughs> that's nice and easy. It was either going to be in the in the Florida or uh, California. It was going to be the giveaway state. Uh, and, you know, I figured you'd know both of those. It has to be a giveaway on, a, on every one of these tests where everybody knows the answer. The I've been to both. Let me tell you, Florida, I understand that when people, when people hear Florida, they probably think Miami, Orlando. Mm-hmm. They probably think Disney World. Um, Tampa, but- St. Pete, you know. There's a lot of parts of Florida that are shit towns. I'm talking yeah. like, like I don't like Jacksonville. I don't like anything along the Bible Belt. It's there's some weird inbred people. Honestly, even in Orlando, it's you know, say any big city, there's the nice parts and there's the parts where you don't <laughs> want to be caught dead. But I remember being there a few years ago uh, for a week by myself. And I was at a Kinko's or maybe like a FedEx or something. I was making copies. And uh, I haven't heard the name Kinko's in a long time. Yeah, right. (laughs) I haven't said the name Kinko's in a long time. And uh, I was, I didn't have a car rented there because I was a moron during that trip. And I was Ubering everywhere. So I was waiting for an Uber uh, outside afterwards. And when I look over to like this, like, like four lane highway right in front of me, there was a little person like covered in like soot or dust or something riding like a little tricycle with like a huge man who must have been like at least six five walking behind him. And he was also covered in fucking suit and shit. It like looked like something right out of American Horror Story. It was fucking terrifying. And then they turn the little person turns over to me. He was like, hey man. Uh, come here. I got a question for you. And he starts like waving at me to come over. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, No, come here. I got a question for you. So you can ask me from over there. It's like, No, no, no. Come on. In. And he just kept doing it. And my Uber showed up, luckily. I was like, Nope, sorry, man. I got to go. But it I was wouldn't have either. Terrifying. And that man was massive behind him. Like, I've no, I don't. It literally looked like a horror movie. I don't understand how, what the fuck. And they were, again, walking on the shoulder of a four-lane highway. So, like, where the fuck are you even going to? They're just, like, what? No, no, no. That shit was terrifying. And that happened literally, like, four miles from Disney World. So you When I think of a little turn. person on a tricycle, I think of killer clowns. Remember yes. that? Like, that's, like, what it reminded, it reminded me, especially the big guy. It reminded me of the twisty clown. From American Horror Story, that wore that mask just without the fucking mask. Ugh. He was like that big and bulky sized man, and like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big dude myself. I can take care of myself. I look at that man and I was horrified. I was like, "Fuck no!" And even the little guy was terrifying too because he was just so confident. Like he was just like, "Come here," you know. I was like, "No, mm-hmm. <laughs> get the fuck out of there." Um, but anyways, you just need three more. To statistically guarantee a victory uh, in this game, which is pretty damn good, and I think actually if you even get two more right, you can still win. I gotta, gotta go back and look at the numbers. Uh oh! Uh, but you're doing good. You're doing good. I think you can do this. Uh, this next one is uh, if you take out your trusty map, ladies and gentlemen, look down and get ready. I will say. This is definitely Simo's mom's favorite state. Uh, take a look at number four. Number four. Because it does kind of look like an upside down dog, too. It looks like Florida a little bit. I didn't realize that. What is that state? Number four. I don't freaking know. You knew um, it. Two were. What's what? Uh, you're right there. What? Yeah, you figured you got number two right at the beginning of the game, so you know what the ones right next to it are. So you should be okay. Ready. It's an interesting shape. So very interesting. I, I know. Okay, what's up there? We've got 
at the top, you've got Washington. There's Minnesota somewhere. There's Montana. There's, oh, maybe it's a Dakota. No. Maybe. I My gut tells me it's Idaho. Final answer? Because, I don't know. Idaho, Ohio. I want to say Idaho. Why would my mom like this state? Well, you got to tell me if it's the final answer first. Because my mom, is, was this the first place that there was McDonald's? <laughs> no. Oh, because my mom, she doesn't like McDonald's. That's why she pooped in a bag. Because it was from a McDonald's. Um, I promised my mom I wouldn't bring it up anymore on the podcast, but it's American history. So, so, so tell me, final answer, yes or no? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, well, that is correct. And that's oh. your final state because I know. No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and note, Ohio's on the other side. It is. But uh, Ohio's on the, on the closer to the East Coast there. Uh, it's like a six hour to eight hour drive from Maryland. Uh, but I feel like, you know, if you rearrange the letters, take out the D, you do have Ohio and Idaho. So I'm going to check that out to dyslexia. <laughs> dyslexia. <laughs> but with that being said, dude, you are crushing right now. You are 11.25 on the correct side to 7.75 on the wrong side. You know what? There was a fraternity. Um, we call them the multicultural fraternities, but I think it was just our like PC way and it was, it was saying it was a like a historically black fraternity. Yeah, I think it was called Alpha, maybe, maybe, or I don't know. But um, but they would say Iowa, Iowa. Oh yeah, across campus. Remember that? I remember they would always do like the drumline stuff. Uh... They would, they would get like 15 minutes and they come in doing stead dance and like boom, I am hot in here. And it was fucking cool. I always wish I could step I feel like they always had like candy canes that they were twirling around and things like that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, and then, then they would come in <laughs> and bring in the sororities and the fraternities to do their white people dancing. And it was just like, boo! <laughs> <laughs> the quality oh, of the go downhill very fast. <laughs> but uh yeah. Uh those were good times. Anywho, you're rocking along, you're doing honestly slightly better than I thought you'd do. I did call it earlier on that I thought you could pass this. So note yes. that I had faith in you from the get-go, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm not jumping on the bandwagon. I predicted this. Now, on the citizenship test, there's like 20 questions. And you only get like, what, two wrong or something? On the citizenship test, you get uh, 10 questions. Oh. Uh, and But the thing is that they give you a book, and there's like hundreds of possible questions. So you got to fucking oh, be ready because it could be anything. And so they really scare you. And if you get, I think, eight right, because I got the first eight correct, so they were like, well, you pass. You don't even need to do the last two. Oh, cool. that's nice. Because they was like, there's no way you can fail now, so you're cool. Uh, so that was, in my case, you know, they gave me a good... But I still I still asked them, yeah, well, I, I want to know if I got 10 out of 10. Give me the last two anyways, just to see if I know them. And I got them right. But if you study, you'll do fine. But it's the kind of thing where if you even lived here, you think like, oh, it, I, I'm going to fucking crush that. But I remember like telling, I think it was a uh, friend of the show, Geometta, to quiz me uh, and say, hey, yeah, you know, we we're drunk one night. It's like, Psh, I'll crush that test without study. I, you know, I, I did great in history class in high school and college and shit. I was a political science major. And he would ask me stuff and say, oh, I know that. But it's just not at the top of your head. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like information that, is in there, but like, yeah. So you really do have to study it because it's tricky. It's a very tricky test. And if you take it for granted, you'll fail. It's kind of like the driving I also test. Think, I also think like the stakes are super high. Exactly. You know, so that that that's not in your favor. Like if they were like, Chris, we're the three branches of government. I'd be like, oh, okay, branch, um, maple, 
oak pine. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Totally. It like tricks you. And they and it is worded in a tricky way when you do have to think. Sometimes it's not like sometimes if you say the first thing that comes to your head, it's like you you get it wrong. So you gotta do take like I, I would take like a deep a deep breath and like think about it for five seconds, even if I thought it was like a slam dunk answer than an easy one just because the wording was tricky. And I yeah. wanted to make sure it's like, okay, like what are they really asking me here to make sure I didn't, I didn't fuck it up. Uh, Cause I know people that failed it and it's like the worst. Like, yeah, you get another chance to take it, but you know, and then the process just takes so long that then you have to wait another few months. It's like a whole nother thing and you want that status change. So uh, you want to make sure you're, you're ready to go. If you take the citizenship test. Uh, okay. Well, Mr. Mo, you're doing good. Doing good. I think you definitely, the odds say that you will win this game. Yes, yes, yes. So How many more do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more. Okay. Right here <clears throat> at the Frat Chat Podcast. Uh, okay. Up next. Look at your trusty map. We're gonna go back to the left, to the left side, which is the west side. Oh yeah! Uh, and you're gonna tell me what is number seven? Number seven. Okay. I think it's it's either Utah, Colorado, or Arizona. I think I think it's a, it's one of those because um, I know I know Nevada is number five, and mm-hmm. I and I just remember on the election night that they didn't count the votes, so they're like it doesn't matter. Oh, maybe it's Arizona. So I don't think we had like the votes in or whatever, and it was like a swing state or you know what I mean. So I think I think number seven is actually no. I was there recently, and my friend lives in Phoenix. I think it's Arizona. You're gonna go with Arizona. Final yeah. answer. I'm sorry because I'm sorry to say how right you are because that is correct, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Arizona is correct. It's been in the news a lot. Uh, it's been in very much in every election news, but especially these last couple. So that points Mr. Mo in a firm lead in a game that he started out losing. So yes. now that goes to show, never give up, people. This was almost a dead giveaway from the wrong category until now. Now he's got 12.25 points on the right side and wrong uh, is 7.75. So, you're doing good. If you get the next one, you can't lose. Okay. So, doing pretty good. What do I win? Do I win a little bit of respect for That's once? Right. <laughs> That's right. I'm like genuinely very impressed. <laughs> so, uh, good for you. Good for you. You will definitely get my respect. And I, I think I know the 13 colonies, and then the rest, to be honest, I, I, I'm not feeling very secure about. I know where <laughs> Texas is. Good. You got, you know, one, two, three, four. you got four out of five correct so far. So you're rocking. Uh, and I will guarantee that I will question your intelligence at least 10% less on this very podcast. Uh, so that's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big decrease. <laughs> this is pretty good shit. Okay. So, uh, we're going to keep this this moving along. If you, uh, you already know that you lived in State 26. Oh, yeah. Area, which is Illinois. Yeah. Uh, we talked about what was on the left side of it with 22. And that's actually one that you got wrong. The only one that you got wrong so far. So now we're going to go to the other side of Illinois. Look at state number 29 on the map. Oh, I know that one. 29. I know this because I drove through it and it was the most boring drive of my life. So I drew, I drove a U-Haul truck from Illinois to New York when I moved to New York. And driving okay. through Indiana was like 
so boring. Like, what a dump of a state. Hey! But that is correct. That means that statistically speaking, even if you fuck the rest up, the last four questions, you still would not lose. So you are you're safe from at least me making fun of you too much. And uh, Indiana is correct. You know what? I drove through Indiana with um, comic uh, Ali Clayton. We uh-huh. moved from Chicago to New York together. And we went to a McDonald's to like get a bite to eat and to go to the bathroom. And in the McDonald's, uh, I think Ali ordered like, I don't know, like fries or like chicken nuggets or something. And the woman was like, oh, I have your daughter's order. And I was like, I'm sorry. And she's like, this is, this is for your girl. And I was like, I'm s- what? And they thought I, I, they thought I was a parent, I guess. What? And I was so called off guard. Like, <laughs> what? And that's when Simo scheduled his first Botox. Appointment. Oh my God. Did I ever? And then, and then, um, I was talking about it in, in, in like probably the rest of the car ride there to New York. And I realized, you know what? People have kids young in Indiana. What else do you do? It's nothing to do there. You, mm. you do, you drink, you do drugs and you fuck. Yeah. That's kind of like my town in Maryland was too. So <laughs> that's, you drink, we get, you, we get fucked up and try to bang, yeah. which is also similarly college. So I guess there's that explains why I know so many people that got pregnant. <laughs> Oh man. Well, Mr. Mel, we're gonna keep this moving along. Okay. Uh, you're doing great. You've officially statistically won this game, but now let's make it so let's see if you can keep it in a commanding lead or if it'll be a narrow lead that you win by. Um uh, okay. Up next. Yeah, we're gonna keep we're gonna take things back over to the east side of the map. Or, yeah, the east side. Okay. The right, the right side of the map. And we're going to look. Oh God, I almost said the state name. I would have fucked that up. At number 36. 36. Okay. I, know, I, I know this, I think. Because it was one of the 13 colonies. So uh, yeah. I know that 34 is West Virginia. <laughs> Um, I, there's no reason to ever want to go to West Virginia. Nothing good comes in there. <laughs> Everyone drinks Mountain Dew. They all have rotten teeth in their mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember I had family that lived in Western Maryland and we went to West Virginia and my aunt was like, everyone like get a nice outfit together because we're going out to a nice restaurant. And I was so excited and we pulled up in the driveway of Denny's and I was like, <laughs> is this a joke? Yeah. But that's all they had there, you know. That's all they have in West Virginia. There's no Ruth Chris, you know. To be fair, I really love me some Denny's. It's been like 20 years since I've had it, but it was good back in the day. But yeah, I, 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 I thought you were going to say Sizzlers. So. Uh, I love the I love the good Sizzler salad bar. Uh, okay, so uh, below that number 35, I know is Virginia because that borders Maryland. And then after that comes the Carolinas. Um, <clears throat> and I know that because I dated Clay Aiken, who resides in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Wow. Look at you go. During the pandemic, he tried to get me to come down there and, and, and stay with him. And Ooh. I was like, no, sir. Because oh, wow. he, he was flipping houses. And I'm like, I, you, the pandemic is so scary. And that you want me to like lay tile and like, <laughs> <laughs> Lay bricks and things. Yeah, no, 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 no. nah, he wanted you to lay pipe. Hey, hey, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Simo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mel keeps uh, uh, saving your American honor because he is, in fact, correct. That is North Carolina. Oh, 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 Take your shirt off. Tristan Ryder Hood in a helicopter. Pete Pablo, classic. Classic track. Came out when I was in eighth grade, I think. See, I was like 26. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> I said I wouldn't make fun of you for being dumb, but I didn't say anything about age, you know. So just saying, <laughs> you're killing an intelligence test, though. Uh, definitely have to rethink those jokes moving forward. Um, okay, we are down to the last three questions, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And so far, I mean. You've only gotten it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One wrong out of seven here. Yes, yes. You got most of the president's ones correct. Uh, you got, yeah, you did. You, you did. You really did good. Yeah, this is hell this is yeah. Shit. I'm I very, didn't even very study. Mad. This is in the back of my mind. That's right. That's right. My history teacher would be so impressed right now. That's right. Uh, history. If she was alive, I think she's. I think she died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we gotta keep the final three rocking along, ladies and gentlemen. We got back in the map. This one. You, know, you gotta always go to the lucky numbers. We had lucky number seven, which was Arizona. Simo got that right. So let's see if he gets this one right. Lucky number 13. Oh, 13 shit. 13. <laughs> okay. On the map. So it's either Minnesota or Montana. No. Oh, shit. Okay. So. <sighs> Okay, so 26 is Illinois. And then above Illinois, I think it's Wisconsin because that was also a swing state. Um, and I think number 20, I think is Minnesota because they sound like Wisconsin because they all have like similar accents, you know? Uh-huh. And then, and then, oh, wait, there's 13 and 14, I think are the Dakotas. I think there's a North and South Dakota. So, so 13 would be the North one. So you're gonna go to North Dakota. Final answer. I oh shit. I hope so. Yeah. <sighs> you were doing so good, but now you're doing even better because that is cool. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! You see, gotcha. <laughs> okay, that was good. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, your deductive skills are very good. I will say that it's very impressive. You've been able to uh, break it down based on what you do know and find your way to the other places, and that is very impressive. Uh, Good work, sir. You're down to the final two questions. You have been absolutely crushing this section. Isn't North Dakota where Fargo is? Yep. That's right. The show, Fargo? I think so. I've never seen the show, but I know that Fargo's in. North Dakota, but you are currently on a six question winning streak of correctness. So let's see if you can you can take it across the finish line uh, with the final two. I might even get like a solid C or B. Yeah, you're 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 really trucking here. You got fourteen point twenty five. In the correct category, and seven point seven five in the wrong category. So that is good work. Uh, you have doubled the amount of right that you have wrong. So that's very impressive. Okay, so I have. You started out with a bunch of wrongs. So I have so. like two thirds. So I have a I have a D at the moment. Yeah, but remember, it wasn't necessarily. If you, especially if you broke it down by sections, you aced quite a few sections. So in this case, we said you needed to be positive about the answers to win it. Uh, it's not necessarily great, but you're doing very good. You know, when I took the SATs, I got a perfect score in the math. Really? Yeah, but I failed everything else, like, horribly. Aww. My score was, like, pretty low because I, like, um, I remember my teacher was like, you get 200 points just for signing your name. I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought I earned those two hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, you actually misspelled more. There's two O's in it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, 
We're down to the final two. Let's see how Mr. Mo does. Uh, taking a look at your mappy. Yeah. Look to the central side of the country, leaning slightly west. We're gonna look at number nine. Number number nine. Okay, so number nine is I want to say Montana, but I also want to say Wyoming. I just know it's a it's a state that doesn't matter. So <laughs> no. <laughs> No, those are Simo's thoughts, not my own. Well, because some of these states had like oh, when we were watching, wait, what? When we, when we were watching that the the election, <laughs> my husband's like, like, is that is this a big deal that we that those are red states? I'm like, no, they don't matter. It's like one electoral college vote. Who cares? And then my husband's like, well, it looks like he has like a lot of those. Like they all add up, right? I'm like, no, we're we'll be fine. Mom, mom. <laughs> Wow! So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I think it's Montana because there's a lot of advertisements on the subway that are like "go vacation" in like Montana. And I think to myself, "Wow, that's a reach because it's so far to get to. There's nothing to do there. Like, man, they're really desperate." <laughs> oh man! Well, unfortunately, you are correct. <laughs> that is Montana for you. <laughs> you are rocking along. Uh... Keeping the streak going. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, man. Montana, I want to apologize to all the comments that Simo made. Again, that's all I am. <laughs> <laughs> Get them. <laughs> uh, anyways, you now have 15.25 points in the correct category. 7.75 in the wrong category. As, uh, and now going on a 7. Question correct streak as we go into the final one. Okay. So feeling pretty good. You could leave here with a good taste in your mouth, or you can get it wrong and leave here with a bad taste in your mouth. Like that one time your uncle came over that we don't talk about. But anyways. Yeah, rest uh, in peace. <laughs> anyways, down to the final question. You take out your trusty map. And look down at state number 24. 24. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be one of two. That looks like a boot. It, so the boot is either Alabama or Louisiana. Okay. Because I know that... Um, you love the song. Uh, because I know it's one of those two because um, I know that they boarded the golf. I know there's alligators there. And I know that um, uh, they were affected by Hurricane Katrina. Okay, I like so, it. He knows. Um, the it does look like a boot. Um, I I'm gonna say Louisiana because it looks like an L. <laughs> wow, That's, I've never thought of things like that. But uh, final answer? Yes. Okay, this will determine uh, how SEMA will feel towards the end of this test. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, he's going to be feeling pretty good because that is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Louisiana is the state. That means three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. you got nine out of ten correct in this section. Obviously, it's not the whole map. So that's pretty damn good, if you ask me. You know what? I was kind of like sweating because I I don't know number 10, 11, or 12. I don't know six. I, I know the general area of like New Hampshire Shire, and, and Vermont and, you know, Massachusetts, but I don't know which, I don't know which is which. And I, <laughs> I don't know. I know around where like Kentucky and, and, Tennessee are because I, I know they're the kind of border the Appalachian Mountains and sorry but like Appalachian people are like horrifying and so I, <laughs> I, I know what states to like avoid but I don't know which is which 
And so if you were to ask me what number 32 was, I don't know. I don't know what 17, I don't know what 16, I don't know. I, I know there's an Arkansas somewhere. I know there's, but I don't know. So I got very lucky with your uh, questions. Wow. Well, aside from Florida, which one was supposed to be easy, the <clears> rest <throat> were pulled out with the interest of fairness and minus a note. But these were not selected in any way easy. These were just your average old states pulled out there and you crushed it. So I give you a nice, I wasn't going to say golf clap, but no, you did very well. Uh, I think it's fair to say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that Simo does indeed uh, care about his country because he just saved your honor in the very first uh, test. Well, I guess you did the other and, one. And, and I voted on Tuesday. That's you know right. what? I was hungover on Tuesday, and I threw up twice on the way to the polls. <laughs> but that didn't stop him from exercising his American patriotic duty. And sure, he got several hundred people sick, and some of them probably died after. But they all voted too, so it was worth it. So I didn't. I didn't understand the proposals. I didn't. <laughs> some of them I didn't answer. I was like, I don't. I don't know what this means. I didn't know that we had proposals on there. Because I ass, I studied ahead of time to know who I was going to vote for. For like, you know, I I my district is um, AOC, right? And so I was like, okay, I'm going to vote for her. And but but the proposals, I was like, this is confusing. Wow. Well, that's cool. What you got to. I like AOC. I, I know people are like, uh, she's a radical, but I think she she's, she's pretty cool. super intelligent. Yeah, and she and she knows how to debate people. She comes in prepared. She's a badass lady, and I'm not going to lie. I have a major crush on her, so it, it all helps. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us know how you did. Simo passed with flying colors, more colors than there on the American flag. In fact, so many colors, it should be the, the pride flag. That's right. He crushed this game in order to protect your honor uh, from being called stupid. So yes. let us know how you did on the test. It's time to be honest that you passed this test. Do you deserve to be an American? Let us know on all social channels at Frat Chat Podcast. That's on Instagram, on Facebook. That's on threads. That's on YouTube. Send us an email at fratchatpodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget to rate our podcast wherever you're listening to. Uh, and send us a little comment that says we rock. All that stuff helps. Of course. Of course, make sure you give me a follow. Carlos Does the World on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, Threads, YouTube. Carlos Does World uh, on TikTok or on Twitter slash X, sorry. And follow my buddy Simo over here at Chris.more.comedy on Instagram, on TikTok, and Seymour Comedy on Twitter slash X. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our game. That is the end. Of our episode. So, Mr. Mo, it's time to roll. So, won't you please get us out of here? Well, as your reigning champion, I like to motion to adjourn this meeting. <laughs> and I second and give him a standing salute. Uh, and I'm not even sitting down. Uh, anyways, that's time to get out of here. It's time to rock. Simo is feeling good about himself. We're all feeling good. He had the Frat Chat podcast. And, of course, we'll be back next week with another edition of the greatest podcast in the history of podcast in time. Uh, but first, I motion. I forgot. God, I got so excited for Simo to win. Mr. Mo, you got to do a little something for us to get us out of here. Why don't you please get us out of here? Like, like the Pledge of Allegiance? What do you no, mean? The motion for something, you fool. Oh, oh, I motion to adjourn this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, is there more? I don't know. But, I know. Like, I'm supposed to second something, but I'm forgetting what it was. <laughs> and, and I. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll be back next week. We're another edition of the greatest podcast in the history of podcast and time. This is the Frat Chat Podcast. See ya. Ciao.